In this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate the standard deviation of a set of numbers, quick and simple. So the first thing you want to do is calculate the mean. So x bar represents the mean of the sample. And the mean is basically the sum of the numbers divided by the size of the sample. So we're going to add up the five numbers that we have, 82 plus 93 plus 98 plus 89 plus 88. And since we have five numbers, we are going to divide this by five. So 82 plus 93 plus 98 plus 89 plus 88, that gives us a sum of 450. Now let's divide that by five. 45 divided by five is nine. And if we add a zero, that gives us an average of 90. So that is our sample mean. Now the formula that we're going to use to calculate the standard deviation is this formula. So we're going to take the difference of each x value and the mean, and then we're going to square those differences and take the sum of those squares, and then we're going to divide it by n minus 1. So let me show you how to do that. So the first number is 82. We're going to subtract that from the mean, which is 90, and then square it. The next number is 93. We're going to subtract it from the mean and then square it. The mean is 90. And then it's going to be 98 minus 90. And then we're going to keep doing this until it's finished. So n is 5 n minus 1 is going to be 5 minus 1, or 4. Now let's do this one step at a time. 82 minus 90 is negative 8. So this is going to be negative 8 squared. But once you square it, the negative sign won't matter. And then it's going to be plus 3 squared. 98 minus 90 is 8. 89 minus 90 is negative 1. And so forth. And then divide it by 4. So go ahead and type this in. So we have 8 squared plus 3 squared plus 8 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. So that adds up to 142. Divide that by 4 and then take the square root of that result. And so you should get a standard deviation of 5.958. So this is the answer. Now, let's try another example, but one with more numbers involved. So go ahead and try this. Calculate the standard deviation of the numbers, I forgot the S there, the numbers shown in the table below. Feel free to pause the video and try it. So let's begin by calculating the sample mean. So let's take the sum of all the numbers. So we have 76 plus 84 plus 69 plus 92 and so forth. So we're going to take the sum of all of these numbers, and then we're going to divide it by the size of the sample. So in that sample, we have 10 numbers. So n is 10. 76 plus 84 plus 69 plus 82 plus 58 plus 89. And this is just a lot of numbers. Let me try that again. I think I did that wrong. So the sum of those 10 numbers is 800. And if we divide it by 10, this will give us an average of 80. So that's the sample mean. Now, let's calculate the standard deviation of the sample. So let's use the same formula that we used earlier. So it's going to be the first number, 76, minus the mean, which is 80, and then squared. And then it's going to be the next one, which is uh, 84, 
minus the mean and then don't forget to square it and then we need to do this for all of the numbers so the last one is going to be 77 minus 80 squared and then divided by n minus 1 so we have 10 numbers so this is going to be 10 minus 1 now if you want to show all of your work without having to do so much writing here's what you could do so notice that we need to take the difference between each number and the mean the difference between 76 and 80 is negative 4 but when you square negative 4 it's going to be the same as squaring positive 4 so we can simply write it as 4 squared the difference between 84 and 80 is also 4 so that's going to be plus another 4 squared 69 is 11 units away from 80 the next number 92 that's 12 units away from 80 and then 58 if you do 80 minus 58 that's a difference of 22 and then 89 minus 80 that's a difference of 9 so you need to take the square differences of each number with the mean 73 minus 80 that's a difference of 7 97 minus 80 is 17 85 minus 80 is 5 77 minus 80 is 3 well, negative 3, but we'll make it positive. 10 minus 1 is 9. So now it's going to be easier to calculate it. So 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 11 squared plus 12 squared and so forth. Once you add all of the, the square differences, you should get 1234. So we're going to divide that number by 9 and then take the square root of the result. So the standard deviation for this problem is 11.709. So now you know how to calculate the standard deviation of a set of numbers. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.